Buenos días desde Dios. Good morning. A warm word of welcome to you all to Second Presbyterian Church on this World Communion Sunday. We would especially like to welcome any visitors that we have among us. If you're a visitor and you feel comfortable, our custom is to ask you to stand, tell us your name, and where you're from. So do we have any visitors with us this morning? Randy and Pamela Kelly from the Portsmouth of Arkansas. We're visiting a very good place. Wonderful. Glad to have you with us. My name is Daniel Mendes. I'm from Colombia. My name is Daniel Mendes. I'm from Colombia. My name is Daniel Mendes. I'm from Colombia. Good morning. We're happy to be back, but related with our experience, it was a once in a lifetime experience. The people there are so friendly, so caring. They share the little that they have with each other, and the love and the faith that they have is amazing. Last Sunday, we were worshiping with them. Uh, the church was full, there was so much energy there. Um, Rob, our pastor, preached the sermon there, and Adi and Baby, of course, send their love to everyone here, and it was an amazing experience, and I'm sure we'll be sharing more of that experience with all of you at a later time. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, just want to echo the same things. It's hard to believe that a week ago we were sharing with our brothers in Matanzas, and here we are with you all today. Uh, someone told me this will be a life-changing experience. I didn't know what they meant until we got back, but it certainly was, and we look forward to sharing our time um, in Cuba with all of you as the days go by. Thank you. I came down with airline itis last night, so I'm not kissing anybody today. <laughs> <laughs> This is a little example 
of the hospitality that we enjoyed as we uh, joined our brothers and sisters in Cuba. It's appropriate that we celebrate our homecoming on World Communion Sunday. We'll be, we'll be boring you all probably with the unending stories of our experiences there. And I don't said it was once in a lifetime, but I hope it's not. <laughs> Thank you. Part of our sister church covenant that we signed with them talks about praying for each other. So I asked if they had any prayer requests that we could pray for them on this World Communion Sunday. And three health prayer requests. Their treasurer, uh, Nestor, is going to have to have surgery, and he has a very rare blood type, and they're having trouble finding blood for him to have the surgery. So if you'd please pray for Nestor. Uh, Julia, who is a longtime member in Su Tercera Generación, um, she's having quite a few health problems, so if you pray, pray for Julia. And then also Fifi, uh, who is the daughter-in-law of a former pastor there who has been to Albuquerque and actually been into the home where we live. This is a very small world. Fifi, who is in her 40s, who is diagnosed with cancer and is going to be having surgery, so prayers for Fifi as well. No, no long announcement today, but just a reminder uh, that we have a special offering today. Um, or the peacemaking offering, and you will be hearing more in a couple of weeks. An uh, international peacemaker sponsored by the Presbyterian Church will be speaking here in conjunction with First Presbyterian Church as well. For our communion practice today that we will engage in later in the worship, uh, we will be taking communion by intinction. Um, intinction is a big theological word that means dipping. So we will have a couple of uh, Folks at the front, a couple stations, two in the back and one in the balcony. Certainly walk to wherever is most comfortable since we don't have a center aisle. Sometimes it's hard to coordinate these things, but let the Spirit lead you. And if for any reason you cannot get up to come for communion, uh, just definitely flag down uh, any one of the stations and we'll bring it to you. Uh, I simply want to acknowledge that today is my 13th anniversary as a pastor of Second Presbyterian Church. And I give thanks to God and to you for these 13 wonderful years and ask for God's guidance as we move forward together as a community. We want to celebrate this day with you, and so I'm, I'm going to call your right-hand person, Beverly Chavis, to come up. <laughs> And I would like to call up Carla, because we all know behind every good man is a great woman. <laughs> read this resolution to both of you. Whereas the Reverend Robert Woodruff was ordained as a minister of word and sacrament by the Presbytery of Plains and Peaks in Colorado in 2002, Having received a master's degree in theological studies from Princeton Seminary, and whereas the Reverend Robert Woodruff served as a Presbyterian Church USA young adult volunteer in Quetzaltenango, Guatemala, <laughs> where he studied and became fluent in the Spanish language, and where he met his beloved wife, Carla, and whereas the Reverend Robert Woodruff accepted a call from Second Presbyterian Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico, to serve as its pastor in October 2003 and continues to the second day of October 2016, and whereas the Reverend Dr. Robert Woodruff received a Doctorate of Ministry degree from Columbia Theological Seminary in 2012, and is now lovingly known to the congregation as Dr. Rob, or Pastor Rob, or just plain Roberto. <laughs> and whereas Dr. Rob was elected moderator of the Presbytery of Santa Fe from 2011 to 2012, and actively serves on various committees of the Presbytery, and whereas Pastor Rob's compassionate care and spiritual leadership has led us to experience vibrant worship and a sense of community and mission within our walls, as well as throughout the larger church. Therefore, 
Let it be resolved that Second Presbyterian Church of Albuquerque, New Mexico is deeply grateful to Pastor Rob for his years of ministry and extends its love and well wishes to him, his wife Carla, and their children, Carlos and Valentina, for enhancing the life of our congregation. Jumping in 